I think when you're thinking about these different pollutants, it's useful to sort of think about um, the outdoor pollutants that are coming indoors and affecting us, and then the indoor pollutants that are kind of generated indoors, either from our own behaviors or from the building materials or, or, or some other sources. So in terms of outdoor pollutants, things like uh, cars and trucks, um, industrial point sources, other, other types of outdoor pollution, um, simple things like keeping windows closed can actually have quite a substantial impact on your air pollution exposure. Indoors there are some relevant pollutants uh, as, as, as well, so things like um, formaldehyde, which is, which, is which is an irritant and which is contained in a lot of building materials and, and um, can off-gas indoors and, and results in exposure. Um, we think about things like radon indoors, which is uh, actually a, a fairly potent carcinogen and um, in some communities with high indoor con concentrations of radon it can actually be quite a considerable contributor to the overall um, uh, cancer risk. When I talk about air pollution, um, the, the, the pollutants that, that we think about most often are um, the particles in the air. So these are really, really um, uh, small particles that are able to penetrate deep in, into, the, into the part of the lung where gases are exchanged with, with the blood. Probably the biggest indoor source of pollution is, is smoking, is environmental tobacco smoke. Um, in, in homes where there isn't smoking, uh, the, the biggest source, at least for particle, the small particle pollution, tends to be cooking. I've been involved in studies actually where we do see measurable impacts on the indoor concentration of these fine particles um, from things like burning candles, burning incense. Um, so I would suggest, you know, all things being equal, uh, the, the, that, that um, you might want to avoid those types of, types of activities.